good morning dear students hope you all doing great this is dr baidakram faruqi associate professor of english at babu shobaram government arts college alwar today we shall discuss morphological structure of words in paper 1 uh, in section c you have phonology and morphology and i have discussed in fact uh, both these topics in detail but some students wanted me to upload a video on um, inflectional and derivational suffixes that's why i am uh, uploading a video on morphological structure of words well uh, if i ask you uh, what is morphology what would you say yeah the true morphology is the study of words the study of formation of words how words are formed there are different ways of forming words and i have uploaded many videos on the formation of words like clipping compounding um conversion blending and borrowing and these videos are all available on youtube you can watch them and they are also part of your syllabus so today we we shall discuss morphological structure of words this is uh, like every year you know they ask uh, a question on morphology how words are formed how do you analyze words so let us talk about it and the question that you get in exam is analyze the morphological structure of the following words this is this is how they give the question and they they give you five six words and they want you to analyze them morphologically okay uh, let's begin the first word that we are taking is unfriendly unfriendly is a derivation word because we can further enhance it to unfriendliness in derivation words parts of a speech is also changed i hope you know what is part of a speech okay where you have verbs nouns nouns uh, interjection conjunction all this okay so in derivation words part part of a speech is also changed that means when you change a word from one form to another then is part of a speech is also changed that is friend is a noun friendly is an adjective and friendliness is a noun again and after adding un to friendly we get the antonym unfriendly so here uh, what is happening to the word the meaning of the word is changed when you make a change there in the word then meaning also changes okay the part of speech changes when you are adding un before it then it becomes uh, the antonym okay friendly unfriendly hmm. and uh, like friend i said is a noun the, he is my best friend so here best is adjective and friend is noun but when you say he is a very friendly person then friend become when you add ly then it becomes an adjective and when you say friendliness okay then it becomes a noun again so when you are making these minor changes means when you are adding prefixes or suffixes to a word then the meaning of the word changes and also the part of his speech changes if this thing happens then you call it a derivation word remember this this word is very important so remember this what a derivation word so you know okay now when bound forms are added to root word i have discussed all this you know bound forms uh, root word a uh, free forms and all and there uh, in my lecture on morphology which i uploaded earlier you can watch them so bound forms are added to a root word what is well i, I tell you again root word is the word which is the base word for example here friend is a base word friend is a root word right and you have added bound forms ly why do we call them bound forms we call them bound forms because they do they cannot stand on their own they do not have a meaning ly doesn't have a meaning and doesn't have a meaning right ness doesn't have a meaning so these prefixes and suffixes do not have meaning of their own that is why they are called as bound forms bound because they are dependent on the root word for the, for the meaning right 
they can change the meaning they can change the part of the speech but they do not have a meaning of their own that is why they cannot stand alone i hope you understand now when bound forms are added to a root word and root word is the main word the free form we also call it a free form we call it a complex word therefore unfriendly unfriendly is a complex word hope you understood what is a complex word when you have suffix or prefixes added to a root word then you call it a complex word otherwise friend is just a simple word the friend where do you have you have friend here now this is a simple word okay this is not a complex word it becomes a complex word when you add suffix to it like when you write friendly or when you write unfriendly then it becomes a complex word is that fine okay good let's move on to the next slide however if a word is formed by joining two root words free forms we call it a compound word see uh, again i would say that i have discussed uh, all this in compounding uh, what is compounding compounding is the method of joining uh, two free forms to make a new word this is what compounding is i hope if you remember well so compound words are different why are they different here you do not have bound forms but you have free forms two free forms are joined together and if there is no joining of new words or of suffixes we call it a simple word this i have discussed like friend is a simple word whereas if you join two free forms two root words then you get a compound word for example blackboard green board white board or uh, say uh, they, they can be many words when you are adding two words two free words two free forms and you are making them one and after you know when you join these two words like butterfly okay now butter is a butter, butter is a word which can stand on its own and a fly is also a word it has a meaning so you are joining two free forms and making a new word butterfly is a new word now butterfly doesn't have anything to do with butter right okay it's a fly but it doesn't have anything to do with butter so you are making a new word you are forming a new word this formation of new word by adding two free word two free words is called as compounding okay now friend is a free form a root word what which word are we discussing we are discussing unfriendly right we we are analyzing unfriendly we are trying to analyze the morphological structure of the word unfriendly so friend is a free form because it can occur alone so it's a root word un and li are bound forms because they cannot occur alone un is added before friend and ly is added after so un is prefix and ly is suffix right un is prefix whereas ly is derivational suffix what is it it's, it's a derivation suffix why is it why is it a derivation suffix because it has changed the noun into an adjective okay the part of speech is changed that is why it is called as derivational if there is no change in part of speech i mean okay uh, like you know they are like when you when you make um, Uh, plural from singular then you are not changing the meaning like boy boys girl girls okay apple apples what are you doing here you are making plural but you are not changing the meaning of the word part part of speech remains the same apple is a noun apples is also a noun okay cat is a noun cats is also a noun boy is a noun boys is also a noun so there is no change in the part of speech of the word right when there is no change in the part of his part of his speech of the word what do we call it inflectional suffix but this one is a derivation suffix because it has changed the meaning you know i'm talking this in detail so that you understand you don't forget since uh, it happens to be the first example that's why you know I, i'm trying to make you understand what is it okay now next uh, let us move on you don't have to write like this yes in a say i have even written this you do not need to give a detailed description like the one shown above that means in the previous slide in the exam 
it is simply to make you understand the concept of analyzing the morphological structure of words okay you know i, I wrote in detail i wrote in complete sentences why did i do that i did that so that you understand what is the concept of analyzing the morphological structure of words otherwise in exam you can write the way uh, i written here okay this is how you should write so you get five six words and you have to write the way i have written here a b c d this is how you can write so so you may write the description in the following way how are you going to do it dairy de derived word okay what is unfriendly is a derived word uh, how is it derived means how it uh, how is it what does it mean derived means obtained how is it obtained it's obtained from fin right where is it obtained from it, it is obtained from a root word a free form friend so that's why it's a derived word right and it's a complex word why is it a complex word because prefix and suffix are added to it and what is a free form what is a root word the base form is friend this is here bound forms bound forms are forms which are dependent on the root word for their meaning otherwise they do not have meaning of their own so bound forms are un and li right and prefix prefix you know which is added in the beginning is called as prefix and which is added uh, at the end of a word is called as suffix so what is prefix here un is prefix whereas uh, derivation suffixes these short forms you can write right so ly is the derivation suffix because this has changed the part of speech it has made a noun into an adjective is that fine now you know the, the subsequent examples i am not going to discuss in detail i will just show you the slide and just you know read it out to you so that you understand because we are going to take up many examples you know if you if if you like uh, uh, go through so many examples then i'm sure that you uh, are going to do well in your exam you see you won't forget the, the uh, concept of morphological structure how to analyze words okay let us move on to the next slide now insincerity okay insincerity is another word it's a derivation word because the addition of the prefix in has resulted in the opposite now sincerity and and if you want to make a positive of it what will you do you will add the prefix in so in is added so it has made the word it has changed the word it has now it has become antonym of sincerity and the suffix it ity it that is has changed the adjective into a noun sincere is a root word insincerity now insincere is antonym of sincere and uh, when you say uh, insincere insincere then what is it it is a noun it is a insincere he is an insincere person it is an adjective but when you add it y then it becomes a noun you do not like him because of his insincerity you do not like somebody because of his or her uh insincerity so this is now right so sincere is a free form since is a free form and i and t y this is it are bound forms the former is a prefix the first one this this one is prefix whereas i t y that is it is a derivation suffix why is it a derivation suffix dear students is a derivation suffix because it has changed the adjective into a noun okay insincere is is what an adjective and when you add it then it becomes a noun that is why it is a derivation suffix it's a complex word why is it a complex word it's a complex word because prefix and suffix are attached to it and ha had there been no prefixes and suffixes means you know if, if a word doesn't have any prefix and suffix added to it then what do you call it you call it a simple word like sincere is a simple word but when you add uh, in and it to it then it becomes a complex word right in the exam you may write the morphological structure of derivation words in the following way 
so th this is the second example which i have explained to you in detail so that you understand the concept this is how you are going to do in exam in sincerity derivation word derived word it is derived it is obtained from the word sincere which is the root word it's a complex word why because you have prefix and suffix free form is sincere bound forms are in and et and uh, in is a prefix whereas it is a derivation suffix because it has changed an adjective into a noun. Let's move on to the next slide. Now, unmanly. What is unmanly? Unmanly is a complex word. You, you can very, you know, when you see a word, you know what, what kind of word is, is it. Because when you see prefix and suffix, you know that it's a complex word. So it is the complex word. And when it is a complex word, okay, when you have prefix and suffix, and it is also changing the part of the speech, then you know that it is a derived word. Okay. So it's, and manly is derived from the word man. It's a derived word. It's a complex word. Free form is man. And bound forms are unmanly and prefixes un, okay, and derivation suffixes ly. What is it? Derivation suffix. Because, you know, man is a noun and manly uh, is an adjective. He's a manly person, he's a martial man. And when you add un to it, then the meaning also changes. It becomes an antonym, okay? It becomes opposite of manly, unmanly. A coward, okay, a timid person. So this is what. Now this is the next example, immoral. Now here you have only prefix. When you when you have only prefix, you are saved of writing the derivation suffix. It means because there is no derivation suffix. So it's a derived word. It's derived from moral. It's a complex word because you have a prefix here. Free form is moral and bound form is im. Im is a bound form because it cannot occur alone. It doesn't have a meaning of its own. And prefix is im obviously, and here you do not have any derivation suffix. Suppose if the word, uh, uh, um, uh, if, the, if suppose if the word uh, would have been immorality, immorality, uh, ity, if it had iti, ity, uh, as its uh, suffix to it, then you you would have had here a derivation suffix as well right but here we do not have the word finishes here so remember you know you do not always get the similar word sometimes you have a prefix there sometimes you do you do not have a prefix sometimes you have only uh, only derivation suffix so here you do not have derivation suffix this is why you know here they are only um, you, you have analyzed it in the five uh, say sentences or say five ways just a b c d five numbers you may say okay next let's move on to the next slide unlawful now you know this is a complex word why because you have un which is a prefix and full which is a suffix and it's a derived word because it is derived from the word law so it's a derived word it's a complex word free form is law bound forms are un and full and what's a prefix here? Un is a prefix and derivation suffix is full. Right? Derivation suffix is full. Why? Because you, 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 you can further enhance it. You can, you can unlawfully. Okay? Or like uh, it has changed the meaning also. Law, law, what is law? Law is noun. Let, we should all abide by the law. Okay? The laws of traffic laws and all. So, you know, lawful. Lawful. Lawful is, what is lawful? Lawful is adjective. So, unlawful. Unlawful act. That was an unlawful act. Now, and you're, you're making it uh, antonym. And when you say unlawful, then it is, this, then, then, then it is, an adjective okay you have changed the word law is noun when you say lawful then it becomes an adjective and when you add un it becomes a negative adjective okay antonym of law 
lawful, unlawful. I hope you know that's why it's called as derivation suffix. Now recitation. Recitation is a derived word, it's a complex word. Three forms recite, okay, reciting a poem, reciting holy verses. And the bound form is shun. This is T I O N. This is bound form. So you have only suffix here, you do not have a prefix here. Right? In the moral, you had only prefix, but here there is no prefix. Re is not a prefix here. Right? This site is a complete word, so this is a root word. This is the free form. And derivation suffix is shun. This site is verb. You know that. It's a verb recite. Uh, I recited a poem, I recited uh, the Gita in the morning. So you may say that this is what? This is a verb and recitation. He does recitation of Holy Quran every day. He does recitation of Ramayana every day. Okay, so this is now. Okay, good. Now next. Enjoyment. So enjoyment, there are two bound forms, N and meant. So it's a dried word. Why? Because the word is dried from joy. And it's a complex word because you have a prefix and suffix. So free form is joy and bound forms are n and meant. Prefix is n and meant is derivation suffix. Why? Because it has made a verb into a noun. Enjoy, enjoy your tea, enjoy your coffee, enjoy, I enjoyed the movie. So what is it? This is verb. And when you add this uh, suffix, then it is changing the part of the speech. It becomes a noun. Since it becomes a noun, so we call it a derivation suffix. Right? Now, this is mismanagement. Mismanagement misses a prefix and meant is a suffix. So it's a dried word. Manage is the root word, you may say. It's a complex word because you have a prefix and a suffix here free form is manage free form why do we call it free form i repeat we call it a free form because this this word has a meaning it can stand on its own okay he manages the party very well so what is it this this is a complete word it can stand on its own why it can stand on its own because it has a meaning Whereas miss and meant cannot stand on their own, and that is why they are called as bound forms. And miss is a prefix, whereas a meant is a derivation suffix. Why is it? Because it has changed management is the word, a verb, verb, okay. And meant when you say management, then it becomes a noun. And mismanagement is opposite of management. Okay, you have good management and you have bad management. When you have bad management, then you, what do you call it? You call it mismanagement. Okay. okay. Let's move on to the next. Yeah, this one is the next slide. I hope by now you know what a derivational uh, suffix is. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is again a very long word. Irresponsibility. Ir is, what is it? It is a prefix and it is a suffix. So it's a derived word. It's a complex word because you have a prefix and suffix. And responsible is a free form. Why? Because it can occur on its own. He's a very responsible person. He is a very responsible boy. Right? And it and it they cannot stand on their own. That's why they are called as bound forms. And it is a prefix, whereas derivational suffix, it is a derivation suffix. Why? Because responsible, responsible is an adjective. Responsible. He's, he's a very responsible person. Now, this is an adjective. Responsibility. He doesn't do his responsibility very well. So, the responsibility is noun here. And when you add IR, then it becomes intoning, a responsibility. I, I, I just, you know, hate your responsibility. I, I, I just detest it. Means I just, uh, you, you annoyed me because of your irresponsibility. This is what. I hope you have understood this. 
now i don't i think i don't have to speak in detail every time now you can very well uh, see i am just reading it out uh, to you this illegal illegal is a dried word it's a complex word because ill is there and ly is there free form is legal free form and ill and le they are bound forms ill is a prefix whereas le is a derivation suffix right illegal legal illegal illegal is an adjective legal is an adjective okay legal is an adjective and legally is legal is an adverb adverb and illegal is opposite of legally right and term yes you know first i am discussing uh, derivational uh, words then i would come to inflectional this this is a very long video and you know i have taken many examples for you so that whatever word you get in exam you know how to do it yeah this now dishonestly is uh, again a derivation word uh, it's a dried word why because it is dried form honest this is a prefix and ly is a suffix that is why it's a complex word free form is honest and this and le they are they are bound forms because they, they cannot stand on their own and this is a prefix whereas ly that is le is a derivation suffix because this has changed the part of speech dishonest is adjective is a very dishonest person dishonestly is inordinately or legally whatever dishonestly now this is this this has become adverb means the the part of speech is changed from adjective to adverb dishonestly now you, you know you, you could have had um, uh, just dishonesty here suppose if the, there was no l here then also this would have been a meaningful word dishonesty i hate this is is dishonesty then this would have been this would have been noun dishonesty is a noun whereas dishonestly is an adverb right so you can either have dishonesty in exam or you can have dishonesty in exam you should know that the part of speech is changed untruthfully untruthfully is a dried word because it is dried from truth and uh, it's a complex word because un and fully these are the uh, these are the um, suffixes added to it here you have two see you can notice your full is one and le is another so you have two suffixes here sometimes you may have a word which has two or three suffixes okay so that doesn't make any difference you should know that uh, uh, there are two suffixes here untruthfully dried word complex word free form is truth bound forms are unfull and le they are bound because they cannot stand on their own they do not have a meaning prefix is un and derivation suffix is le now you cannot say that full is a derivation suffix here okay it's not because the last suffix is called as the derivation suffix suppose the word ended here only untruthful then full would have been the derivation suffix but the word is ending on le that's why le is the derivation suffix untruthful also you can get you can have in exam even untruthful you can have this word untruthful now truth is what is true it's noun truthful is adjective untruthful is antonym of truthful so this is okay now this is untruthfully this is at work usually you know when ly it's not always but you know most of the time when ly is added to a word then you get an adverb right okay i hope you understand that next slide mal just mal administration mal administration again is a long word now administration or administer is the root word here so this is a dried word it's a complex word because you have mal and you have t i o n s h a n here which is a suffix the derivation suffix is free form is administer administer is you know verb and administration is noun and mal administration is opposite of administration again when you, whenever you are mal added to a word you know that's a negative it's antonym okay it's bad administration good administration and bad bad administration is called as mal administration okay 
So bound form is mal and shun, and prefix is mal, and derivation suffixes ation here. All right. Why is it a derivation suffix? Suffix because it has changed the verb into a noun. Dissatisfying. Dissatisfying. Now, satisfy is a derived is a, is a root word. This is that's why it's a derived word. It's a complex word because dis and ing is there. Okay, free form is satisfy because it has a meaning. It can stand on on its own. Satisfy, satisfy is verb. I'm not satisfied with him. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied with his uh, uh, with, with his presentation or with his assignment. Right? I'm not satisfied. You may say contented that means. So this this is what this is a verb. And satisfying, satisfying. Okay. Satisfying. Satisfying is uh, is an adjective. The work was satisfying. The duty is satisfying. The job is satisfying. This is how you use it. Dissatisfying is opposite of it. To dis and ing, they are bound forms. Dis is a prefix, whereas ing is a derivation suffix because this has changed the part of speech. unfavorable okay unfavorable is a dry word i'm just reading it out because they have many words so you know it it's, it's a dry word and, and and if you don't understand anything you can write there in the comment box okay i'll explain it to you if you don't understand anything uh yes unfavorable is a dry word it's a complex word because you are unable here free form is favor you know now, now you know when you have u here you know this is a british spelling and when you do not have a u here you this, then it's a it's an american spelling the same is with color like c o l o r is american and c o l o u r is british so in fact you know i i use british uh, spellings english spellings you may say this is this is how i'm taught this way this is the now un and able are bound forms and un is a prefix and able is a derivation suffix why is able a derivation suffix because this is a change the part of speech favor i want your favor i want your favor favor is what is favor i want your favor favor is noun and he, he in a very favorable condition very favorable environment or atmosphere and so this is uh, favorable is adjective unfavorable is opposite of it this has changed the part of speech uncomplimentary is a dry word complex word it's a complex word three form is complement and bound forms are un and eri because they cannot stand on their own un is a prefix whereas eri is a derivation suffix yes complement is a verb it's a noun as well but you know i complimented him so it's it's a verb and complementary is adjective right complementary is adjective next and delightful is a dry word com it's a complex word free form is delight and un and full are bound forms whereas un is a prefix and full is a derivation suffix because delight is an adverb is a verb delight i was delighted to see him so this is a verb and delightful means uh, what is delightful it is an adjective and un is opposite when you add un that is prefix to it then it becomes opposite of delightful and delightful delightful experience and delightful experience this is how you use it undutiful okay i do my duty well okay duty what is duty then duty is noun and dutiful is adjective undutiful is opposite of dutiful he is not very he is he is very undutiful and he was sacked because of his undutifulness 
Well, this is the derived word. It's a complex word. Free form is duty. Bound forms are un and full. And prefix is un, whereas full is a derivation suffix because this has changed the part of the speech. Duty is a noun and dutiful is an adjective. The part of speech is changed. That's why this is a derivation suffix. There are two more. Unloving. Unloving is a derived word. It's a complex word. The form is love. And un and ing, that is ing, these are bound forms. Un is a prefix. And ing is a derivation suffix. Why? Because love is a noun. Okay. Love is a, a tender emotion. So love is a noun. And loving is adjective. And unloving is Unloving is opposite of loving. Loving uh, son or loving parents. Well, unimaginative. Unimaginative is a tried word. Complex. It's a complex word. Free form is imagine. And bound forms are un and ative. Okay. This is a um, prefix and un is prefix and ative is a derivation suffix. <coughs> imagine is a verb. Hmm? Imagine is a verb. You know it. And imaginative, he's, he's a very imaginative person. He's very imaginative. What is it? So this is an adjective. How, how to find out whether it is an adjective or a verb or a noun? You can you can use the word in your sentence. When you use it in your sentence, you know that this is a verb or a noun or an adjective. This is how I'm telling you. See, so imagine is verb and imaginative is Adjective and un, un, unimaginative is opposite. He is very unimaginative. Yes. 